Hi, welcome back to Andrains with Golf Academy. As always, thank you very much for tuning in and taking the time to watch my videos. I really hope they help improve your golf and make it more fun because, hey, that's what we're doing it for, yeah? So, what are we talking about today? Chipping. I want to share with you my simple technique for chipping. Now, I know there are lots of methods out there on the internet about how to chip and how to do it. I'm not saying any of them are wrong, but this is just my interpretation of how to make chipping as simple as possible. I like to call it my chip putt. So, the first thing I want you to do is to try this with either your 9 iron or your pitching wedge, okay? Whichever one of those you prefer. I want you to hold the wedge and the 9 iron how you would hold your putter. That might be overlapping grip, interlock grip, reverse overlap grip, cack handed, however you do it. So, what we want to do in terms of setup position, Ball position middle-ish, don't have to be too fussy about it. I want you to lean a little bit of weight onto your left side and I want you to let your hands go forward slightly. Now from here, here's the easy bit. We are just going to do what you would do with the putter in your hands. We're going to use your triangle. We're going to use your left arm, your shoulders, your right arm. We're going to push that triangle back, push it through, let the loft of the club do the work for you. So. I've got myself set up here on GC2. Um, I'm approximately, what am I, 30 odd yards away from the pin. I'm playing slightly uphill. Got loads of green to work with. So let's see if we can just give you a little example of how my little chip putt works. Feet fairly close together, hands forward, push back, push through. Up she goes, onto the green, running nicely. How about that? Stiff it. Was my first attempt, I promise. Uh, I didn't do anything, 2 foot 11 to go, that, that's a miracle. Uh, didn't do anything fancy there, I really just kept it simple. I kept my weight forward, I kept my hands forward, I kept the club nice and low on the backswing, and I just played my little putting stroke, let the loft of the club pop it up in the air. Ball's running at the hole, not quite as good as the first one, that one. but. I've got a realistic chance of maybe holding that 17 foot, maybe not. Uh, but you get the idea. It's a very simple technique. You can take this to the chipping green and you can really start to get some feel for how to play this shot. The thing I love about this technique, there's not that much to go wrong. And I know this technique's out there which tell you to hinge and then release through. That can work as well. But this is a good starting point to help make your chip shot better more dependable and at the end of the day try and get some up and downs going so that's my chip putt technique hope you liked it like it on the, on the video if you wouldn't mind ticking it making a like on there subscribe to my channel then i can give you updates send me some questions want some interaction with you folks out there any questions you've got any sort of topics you want me to cover i'll be happy to talk about it so thanks for watching for today enjoy your golf